what is up fire finds fam and welcome back to another incredible video now this will be comic haul number five and starting off with to our left we have teen titans this is the number issue number 12 which has the first full appearance of the batman who laughs graded at 9.8 and to our right we have the mighty morphin power ranger the san diego comic con 2016 exclusive featuring their black ranger with a gold armor shield this is also this is a 9.4 rating and just a quick backstory i used to have the full collection of these johnny monty's uh covers even though red with the gold but i sold them all i don't know why maybe the time i needed money but yeah i had them all literally the entire collection but i had to sell them for some odd reason but all right on to something more happier than that let's move on to the haul that we have for this video now starting off with hawkman found this one is issue number one and it is just a metal tie-in, which uh, when the metal series came out, this was a very hot book. But now this one just goes for like around $10. It's a cool foil one. Obviously the metal version of DC, which is pretty cool. And I actually, side note, enjoy playing the game Deck Builder. The metal version my favorite one out of all the Deck Builder, Deck Building expansion. But yeah, so DC, the metal Hawkman found comic. Now on to the next one. Here we have a dope cover here we have venom number six now nothing really major is in this or happens to this but this is a like a ten dollar comic and the only reason why i picked it up was because of the amazing cover it is not, not just a purple and black with white uh color contrast but it just looks nice venom is a dope character from marvel obviously into the spider-man universe and i'm a big fan of venom also a major fan of spider-man so not only because it was cover price i got it but it was a uh, nice cover cheap book cover price and yeah so if, as long as it's nice for me i'll just get it but yeah all right now on to the next one this is the thor god of thunder god bomb part one issue number seven this is a hot series and people are thinking honestly maybe it's even already proven that this is going to be the um what they're going to do with the new Thor movies. This is the first appearance of the God of Watch. And then not only do I have issue number 7. But I have issue number 10 also. And also goes. The, the other one goes for $15. Uh, the, this one also goes for $15. Nothing special on this one happens. Just happened to find that one. And I also found the issue number 12. The Also goes for $15. Now this one has the first appearance of Ross Salaman. And if you guys see any of these store God of Thunders for uh, cover price or even around even one dollars up, pick them up. This is a hot, uh, nice uh, series. But especially if you see number two, issue number two, number six or 25, definitely pick those up if you happen to find them in your next comic book hunt. All right. Now on to the next one, the Silver Surfer Black issue number three. This was a hot limited series. It was really hot when it came out last year. But this one only goes for like around $15. I had to mention the Black Silver Surfer in my previous video on another comic. But that was already said. So just go back to that video if you want to check it out. And this, yeah, dope, dope cover. Nice color contrast on that. Look at all those colors just blending right in. All right. Now on to the next one. Here we have all new, all different Avengers issue number nine, which came out in 2016 which showcases the first cover appearance of the new Wasp, which is Nadia Pym. And if you want her first appearance, it's going to be in the Facebook comic day book, Silver War 2. So this is going to be her first cover appearance. But the uh, uh, Silver War 2 face, uh, comic book day <laughs> comic is the one where you have her first appearance. All right. Now on to the next one. Here we have... The Astonishing Ant-Man. Now in this one, it showcases Cassie, Long Cassie Lang as Stinger, which issue number six, which came out in 2016. And this one goes for around $20 to $30. My bad, the previous one that I showed right here, this one goes for around $10. I didn't say the other one. I don't think I did. But this one goes for around $20 to $30 again because it showcases Cassie Lang as Stinger. All right. Now on to the next one. Here we have West Coast Avengers. Uh, number Issue number nine, which came out in 2019. Aside from being a nice cover, this one uh, showcases uh, 
I mean, sorry, cases. It is the first cameo appear, uh, appearance of Alloy. And this was hot due to some speculation as to what they were going to do with this, this comic and this series. Uh, maybe even into a movie or just add more amazing things to it. We don't know. But this one goes for around $15. And I happened to also find issue number 10, which is also, which is the first full appearance of Alloy. The previous one, which is that one, is his first cameo. But this one also goes for $15. And yep, yeah, this is why I got these two. Happen to find nine and 10. All right. Now on to this nice one. This is issue number 68 of Marvel Team Up featuring Spider-Man and the Man-Thing. This book came out in 1978. It's a nice crossover. I believe this is the only crossover we've seen of these two. It hasn't happened again. But depending on the condition, which I believe this is an amazing condition. You can see it. It has a nice no creasing. Everything's nice on there. It goes for around $20. And this is the per first appearance of this. I think it's, you pronounce it despair or despairy, however, <laughs> however you want to do it. But yeah, a first appearance in this one. But aside from being a crossover between two nice characters. All right, now on to this one. I'm sure you've seen this one already in one of my videos, but I happen to find another one, which is Daredevil issue number four, second print, which shows Daredevil wearing the Punisher shirt. This one goes for around $20. Like I said, I found another one, so I just wanted to show you guys, even though I haven't showed you in the previous videos. All right, now on to the next one. Here we have uh, Marvel's, which is, a, I mean, Marvel's <laughs> Deadpool comic, which ironically is the very... Deadpool comic, but it has nothing to do with it, even though it shows Scarlet Witch and the Vision. Uh, this is a beautiful cover. As you guys know, WandaVision is already streaming on Disney Plus. Now, my thoughts on that are I'm gonna keep them to myself, but let me know what you guys think of the WandaVision because personally, I am gonna keep watching to see if it gets better. That's all I'm gonna say. Now, this comic goes for $15, but if you're happy to find the Virgin one, which is just them without the letterings on them, it, it goes for way more. But this one is just uh, $15 for it. All right. Now on to the World of Realms, New Agents of Atlas. Now this issue number two is the first print, which is features the first appearance of the Swordmaster. This book was hot when it released. And I couldn't find it when it came out because I wasn't so much like knowledgeable about this or even into it. But I happened to find it for cover price. This book goes for like $20. So I, I, good thing I found this one. Now, here is the next one, which is the second print of that same issue number two. I happen to find it also, and this one goes for around $15. All right, now let's move on to the next one. Here we have Rom Space Knight, issue number one. Rom, I mean, come on, guys, he will always be remembered. He had a nice run, and it was speculated that he might be, you know, turned into a movie in the past, but it kind of died down for now. I found it for $6, but a high grade uh grading on this book would go for around 30. i'm looking at it it looks pretty fine to me it looks in amazing shape for being an uh older comic so yep that was a good thing that i happened to find this one so i had to take it for myself all right now let's move on to some indie comics guys now in this one we have cyberpunk 2077 now this is issue number one i mean i haven't played the game but anything to do with comic books and games is always a nice tie-in this was a low print run it goes for around $15, this comic right now on the internet. And as you guys know, Keanu Reeves is in the game, which Keanu Reeves is obviously famous, very more famous for John Wick, which are amazing movies. He, I think there's four of them now, maybe going into the fifth one. I'm not quite sure, three or four, four to five. But yeah, so I had to get it only because of the video game popularity. Now on to this next one, Huck. Now this issue number one variant which obviously pays homage to the Field of Dreams uh, movie in 1989 when it came out. Uh, this one, it was option for a movie, but not, not so much lately. So let's see, but it's still a good comic. It goes for around $10 to $25. All right, now on to the next one. Here we have Danger Girl looking like amazing in that cover. Issue number two, we have the gold foil variant. Now this one, this uh, issue is limited to 7,500 copies. I happen to find it for $5, which and then this one would go for around 20 or more dollars. 
only because it is a uh, cover by J. Scott Campbell, which is a popular artist. And it also comes with a letter of certificate of authentication in the back. You can see it. There we go. This is issue uh, certificate number 5344. So this is a good thing that I found it with that attached to it for just six uh five dollars all right now come on guys you guys know already i'm a huge horror fan i will also throw horror into this channel if y'all can see uh my background is uh, halloween if you can see in the back and i happen to have this one in my personal collection i just wanted to show it it's halloween number one cover a which came out in 2000 i think november 2000 and like i said i'm a huge halloween fan which shows the um a photo still from the movie Halloween 1978 directed by John Carpenter and this one I uh goes for like $20 right now as you can see it's from Chaos Comics and it's an items uh collector's items classic one to have so as for me have it in my personal collection and now on to the next one here we have Chucky now this one it is a uh trade back comic which is uh Issues number one through four that came out in 2007. Now, I don't really look at the at the graphic novel section, but I just wanted to skim through it and I happened to find this Chucky one, which uh, had a low print run. It's a trade paperback. I found it, honestly, guys, I found it for a dollar. And this comic right now, uh, this trade back, sorry, goes for like around 40 to $50. So again, I'm also a fan of Chucky. Anything horror, I will take. And now moving on to the next one. Here we have Resident Evil, Fire and Ice. Now in this one, I found this book for half, it was half off of, of a retail price. So it was like around $12 that I bought it for. It goes for like $40 to $50. Like you guys know, the Resident Evil games are awesome. They're amazing. Uh, and even some of the animated films are even better than the, than the live action ones. That's what I'm personally going to say. Now this one, uh, it's a, it's a, I think around different stories in there or not, or if it's not its own, but it also features Jill, Chris, and Barry, which you know, our classic characters to Resident Evil. Now, there's a new character on the front. Her, honestly, I don't know who that is. I have to actually read the book. I haven't had time to. But, yeah, so it features our new one. And this one, like I said, goes for $40 to $50. Now, on to the next one. Another Halloween one. This is Halloween Night Dance. It's issues one through four. It's its own story. I found this one also for half off of its retail price, which is like around $8. It had a super low print. It's very hard to find this uh, trade back, um, trade paperback, but I happened to find it, which was great. Like I said, for $8. And this one goes for around $70 in the current market. Dope, dope, dope. Michael Myers is my favorite. And now on to the last book. Now, this book, guys, I honestly. Had this book lying around on my shelf collecting dust and i just recently found out the value of it here we have the last of us american dream i had it i bought this when it released in uh wondercon because it's a wondercon exclusive it's the variant cover the hard cover and of course you guys know the video game which is amazing uh they they are hope i hope they do a movie on this soon because it would be nice to see a movie based on the video game the last of us and uh if you guys have this book i recommend finding it make sure it's in great condition taking care of it putting it in a, in a bag in a sleeve something hard because this good book guys believe it or not goes for a 500 dollars or more i was shocked as i saw it too because i saw it on my phone i was like what this goes for a lot i have it and i found it and yep it goes for like 500 plus dollars all right guys well thank you guys please make sure to subscribe like and comment your thoughts or any recommendation i should do next or anything you guys have and I will see you guys on the next one.